Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. I'm Melanie Kate Love and if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. New videos every Wednesday and Sunday at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Now today's video is all about my 10 tips to let you know that you were on the right path. Now it is all based around how you are feeling, but I'm gonna kind of break it down for you. Break it, break it, break it down. No. <laughs> um, yeah. Are you ready for it? Na 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 na. Get you with a na 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 na. Okay. Number one is that you are satisfied in the in the now, but you are literally hungry for more. It's like literally when you have so much love and gratitude for exactly where you are. That is how the law of attraction works. If you haven't already watched my video, how to manifest anything. Um, that video is amazing and you know if you are satisfied in the now it's like the universe brings you more because you're in such a higher vibration and there's no resistance and that's when more delicious goodness is on its way to you number two is about following your intuition now this requires a lot of patience and a lot of allowing to happen it's like your intuition is basically your inner GPS and when you start listening to that that intuition and you start applying it because listening and applying is two separate things. I know a lot of you listen, but you don't always follow through. Um, that's like if you're eating something that you know is not gonna make you feel good after, and you're like, I feel so sick, but I just wanted to eat it. It's like the angels are like, okay, no, maybe not. That's not gonna be good for you. So start following that inner GPS or that intuition because that is like your secret power. And when you start harnessing that, holy flip, your whole world will change. Number three is all about doing your self-love practices. They are literally anything that makes you feel amazing and it's a way to nourish and heal your body, your mind and soul. We're all connected, the body, mind and soul. Everything is just one. And if you start separating them and only focusing on the food that you're eating, what about your mind and what about your soul? Like they're, they're all joined together. So if you haven't already downloaded my free self love starter kit, there is a link in the description. You are welcome to join that because in it, I teach you three fabulous strategies. I have a morning mindset audio, which is 15 minutes to help program your mind for success, which is perfect to listen to in the morning. The second one is five minutes to bliss. It's a guided meditation where it literally just makes you go, oh, you know, like when the shit hits the fan and you're like, I can't do life right now. Listen to that. You're welcome. And the third one is your self-love, what is it? Uh, self-love practices workbook, where I literally help you to identify what does self-love look like for you? Because my self-love practices, like drinking um, chai tea lattes from Tea and Spice, going for walks on the beach, you know, um, doing my hair, putting my eyebrows on because my eyebrows are not symmetrical. One's up, one's down, and I kind of even them out. That is a self-love practice. Maybe that's not your self-love practice, but in that um, starter kit, I help you identify what does that look like for you. Number four, oh, this is an interesting one, is releasing anything that no longer serves you. Anything including anyone, people, place, things like you literally start in your wardrobe and put all your clothes on the floor and pick each one up and go does this spark joy like your intuition will just be like oh, yes if you're like i don't know if it's not if you're not sure get rid of it in regards to a relationship if you have to question exactly where you are in your relationship it's just probably not serving your highest good one of the biggest lessons i have learned on my self-love journey and my self-love makeover is i've learned that if i had to question something it's probably not right. So use that to apply it to every area of your life. Number five is being 100% authentic. Whew, this is an interesting one. Oh my gosh, this is like no filters. Um, oh, it's an interesting one because if you watch my channel, like three and a half years ago when I first started and started talking about my journey to overcome um, weight issues and clear my acne and I first became 100% vegan, um, eating plants in their most natural and unprocessed state. Holy flip. Every time I messed up in a video, I would edit it out and it would be like da -da 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 -da. perfect. I'm like, life is not perfect. There are some ebbs and flows that go along with it. And now I'm just like, if I mess up, I surrender to the process. I set myself free because it's the perfect illustration to let you know, you know, we're human. We mess up. We embrace the mistakes. We learn from them and then we just grow. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, not having like 
a perfect Instagram feed or create curated um, picture. You know, it's just like, I am who I am and I'm fabulous. If this person thinks that I'm highly flawed, get them out of your life. You know, if you can't be yourself at work and you, you feel like you're putting on a different mask and you're like, okay, this is work, Mel, because I used to be like them. I used to wear the high heels, the high waisted skirt, makeup on every single flipping day. I'm learning to get rid of this and embrace it more. Well, to be honest, every time I film a video, I put makeup on, but then the moment I take it, I, I finish, I literally get the coconut oil and the little, um, what do you call it? The little cotton buds, no, not buds, cotton pads, take it off, put some Dr. Bronner's on, get rid of all the residue. That is something I'm working on to become more myself, you know? I'm not perfect and I am where I am and it's okay and I'm learning every single day to embrace who I am. Like three and a half years ago when I started my channel, I would literally just like stare into the camera and I didn't blink in my first two videos for the, I would say the first two minutes. I'm like, hi everyone, my name is Mel and welcome to Raw Nourishment. Today we are learning about blah, blah. And now I'm like, blah, blah, blah. You know, because that's who I am in real life. If you were to meet me, um, initially I'd be quiet because I'm very, I'm very much an introvert of person, but I can be very extroverted when I feel comfortable. And basically the bottom line is just be 100% authentic to you because that's going to attract the right type of people and you won't have to feel like you're trying to be somebody else. Oh, that reminds me of that pink song. You don't need to be anyone else. You are perfect. You are wonderful. You are fabulous. Just being you. And if the people around you don't accept you, get rid of them. It will be the scariest thing you ever do, but the most liberating at the same time. And you're like... I, my vibe attracts my tribe. I'm gonna be that fabulous person and those fabulous people are gonna be attracted to me. Capiche? Okay, let's move on. Oh, and the next one, number six, is to surround yourself with high vibrational souls, which kind of fits into the last one. Like if you're being 100% authentically you, you know, your tribe is gonna be attracted to you, which is why I have such beautiful high vibrational souls that follow me because you are literally a reflection of me. Like our, our energies match. There is a reason why you watch my videos and I am forever grateful to you. So thank you so much. Number seven is being passionate about what you do. Now this could necessarily, this doesn't necessarily have to be like your career. It could be, you know, if you love making um, pottery, um, like beautiful teacups and sauces, and that totally is your jam. And you do that as like a side project and that fills your heart with so much joy then keep doing that. You may will get to a stage when your vibe attracts your tribe and other people see the value in what you create and you'll be able to transition that over to like a full-time gig. And that is something that I'm working on in particular for 2018 because it's like, I want this Melanie Kate love thing to be a full-time job. And I am so excited because I know that it is definitely coming and I don't know, it just makes me so excited to know that I will be making my own money and it is literally coming from something that I love so much and something that I have been doing for three and a half years unpaid but getting to the stage now where it's like somebody needs my help I can offer my services and it just changes their world which is such a beautiful place to be all right let's move on what was the next one? Oh, number eight is constantly seeing synchronicities now synchronicities could be anything from like a song that may be channeled to you that may play on the radio or your spotify it could literally be like um a card like if you've I've got all my oracle cards in front of me i was meant to be filming readings today but i wasn't feeling like i wanted to channel people today i just wanted to do my own thing um so you like if i'm just like shuffling a card and then all of a sudden something comes out it's like boom that's your divine message message it could be like finding money on the ground because that means prosperity is coming which oh it's so amazing when that happens it could also be like seeing numbers oh my gosh number plates is amazing um if you look at a page and all of a sudden it's got 444 views, it's like, oh, wow. You know, if you get sent a pin in the mail and this number comes up, like for the longest time, before I even realized I was intuitive or knew how to channel that delicious goodness, I used to see the number 32. 32, I used to see it from about 2010. 
for ages. I got to the point where it actually made me scared and I was like, I need to speak to someone that knows about this. And then I saw this wonderful um, psychic and she told me that when you see two digits, you add them together. So three and two is five. Five means massive transformation, a brand new chapter that's gonna come, that's gonna literally rock your socks. Um, and that's totally what had happened. And oh, numbers are amazing. I made a whole video about synchronicity, so I will link that for you on the end card. Number nine is a delicious one. It's all about understanding contrast. I made a video about this one too. Contrast is beautiful because it shows you what you want and what you don't. And when you be able to like start to fine tune exactly what you want, you will be able to see the contrast, like the negatives, and you will like, when I see contrast, I literally see through a person. If someone is pissed off at me, I'm like, oh my gosh, you are not angry with me. You are angry at yourself because I am mirroring to you what needs to change, um, which is crazy. And it's kind of like, you don't see people as being angry and you don't take it to heart as much because you know, I'm still learning. Um, I'm like, especially when somebody gets angry, I'm like, why are you getting angry? Why, I'm a nice person. And I'm like, hang on a moment. This is not about me. This is an issue that stemmed from this blockage when they were a child or this uh, issue that stemmed from when they were an adult and they haven't made peace with it. And I've mirrored something to them and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Just like bubbles to the surface. And you just have to send them love. You have to send them so much love. So the last one is, oh, I love this one. This is all about limitless expansion. That is such a beautiful one. Cause it's like, if you are around the right people, you're in the right job, you feel like there is infinite potential. And it's like, you know, you say I am where I am and it's okay, but you are so grateful and so present in this moment that you know that there is so much delicious goodness that is literally on its way to you. And when you're in the right relationship, in the right job, um, you know, surrounded by the right people, they're not going to stunt your growth. If you are in a relationship or in a workplace where you feel like you can't bloom and you can't, you don't have control over where you want to be, your emotions are the perfect indicator to let you know, are you on the right path or do you need to like clean up your vibration and change your boat to go downstream so you can go with the flow because when you find something that you truly love, and I mean truly love, you will feel such great satisfaction in what you're doing. And in regards to a relationship, it will just be easy. Yes, you have to put in effort, but it won't be like you feel like, I have to explain myself again. And we're sitting down for the 50 millionth time to be like, okay, so this isn't working, this is what we're going to do and then nothing ever changes because I've been in that relationship before and the moment I let go of the toxicity of that relationship and that job and I just allowed the universe to guide me to where I need to go and I'm just trusting the process, it is a freaking beautiful place to be. And I just wanted to send you so much love on your journey to become your greatest version and you are exactly where you need to be. And just remember, your emotions are the perfect indicator to let you know if you're on the right path. Anyways, my love, comment below, let me know what came up for you because I'm sure I kind of may have pressed a little bit of buttons, but this is literally coming from a place of love and your reaction is literally a reflection of where you are on your journey. If you don't like what came up, you have the power to change it and I'm sending you so much love, so many blessings your way and I just wanted to say I love you, I love you, love you and I will speak to you next episode. Goodbye!